raining on the island of Sodor, but luckily all of the engines were nice and warm in Tidmouth sheds. All except one, Tom Moss. Henry, remember when you got so scared of the rain you wouldn't come out of the tunnel? Yes, Thomas, I do. And Sir Topham Hatt built a brick wall so you couldn't get out. Yes, Thomas, I do. Please don't remind me. Tom Moss had heard this and suddenly had a very naughty idea. The next morning, Tom Moss had trapped an engine in the tunnel and built a brick wall so they couldn't get out. Which engine have you trapped, Tom Moss? <laughs> At Tidmouth Sheds, most of the engines had already left. Percy and Thomas wanted to leave together. They soon arrived at the tunnel and noticed it had been bricked up. What's happened here? Thomas asked Percy, but Percy didn't know. Then, both engines noticed something which made their boilers shudder. Look up there, cried Percy. There's steam coming out of the tunnel. That means there's an engine trapped inside. Oh no, I wonder who it is. We can try and work it out. Yes, Thomas, we can look for clues. Well, our first clue is that it must be a steam engine because of the steam coming out, so it can't be a diesel engine. I haven't seen Porter in a while, Thomas. Do you think it could be him? I don't know, Percy. I'll go to the docks to check. And Thomas steamed away. He soon arrived at the docks, but Porter was there. Hello Porter and Salty, it's good to see you here Porter. I thought you were trapped in a tunnel, but now I have no idea who it is. There's an engine trapped in the tunnel? That's not good. I do have another clue for you though Thomas. On my way to the docks this morning, I saw a blue engine go into the tunnel. Thanks Porter, so it's a blue steam engine. Hmm. Then Salty had an idea. Oh, I think I've got it, Thomas. It's Belle. She's a blue steam engine. That's right, Salty. Thanks. I'll go to the search and rescue centre straight away. And Thomas left the docks. Meanwhile, Percy was still at the tunnel. Who is on the other side of that wall? He thought to himself. Soon, Thomas arrived at the search and rescue centre. Hello everyone, oh Belle, you're here. I thought you might be stuck in a tunnel. There's an engine stuck in the tunnel? Yes, but all I know is it's a blue steam engine. Well, actually Thomas, now that you mention it, I saw a blue engine with a tender go into the tunnel this morning. Thanks Belle, that's our third clue. So it's a blue steam engine with a tender. <gasps> I know who it is. It's Gordon. Meanwhile, Percy pulled into Knapford Station, still wondering who the trapped engine is. Hi, Percy, greeted Emily. Have you seen Gordon anywhere? He's late to pull his express. Oh, no, gasped Percy. I know where he is, he's stuck in a tunnel. But then, just outside Knapford, Thomas appeared with Gordon. Gordon, said a confused Percy. I thought you were trapped in the tunnel. So did I, replied Thomas. But Gordon had just broken down. I rescued him, that's why he's late. So if it's not Gordon in the tunnel, who is it? But just then, an angry Sir Topham Hatt appeared next to Percy. Engines, I've received lots of complaints from passengers. Edward never showed up on his branch line this morning. <gasps> a blue steam engine with a tender. 
It's Edward! Sir, I think he's trapped in a tunnel. Oh no! Let's go and rescue him, Thomas. Thomas! Booms her top of hat. Uh -oh. I thought it might be you behind this. Release Edward at once. Ah, Edward, nice to have you back. As for you, Tom Moss, as punishment for your trick, you are to work on Edward's branch line today. And Edward, you can have the rest of the day off. Oh, thank you, sir. And for the rest of the day, Tom Moss worked up and down Edward's branch line. <laughs> Charlie is a bright purple engine on the Isle of Sodor. He loves to tell jokes, but can also be very serious, especially when he senses danger. One day, Charlie noticed the tunnel on fire. Fire! Fire! Oh no, I must get help! I know, the search and rescue team! I can ask them! And Charlie rushed off to find them. <laughs> Bell and Flynn, I need your help. There's a tunnel on fire. We need to put it out. This isn't one of your practical jokes again, is it, Charlie? Asked Flynn. No, 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 there's a real fire. All right then, let's go, Bell. And the three engines headed quickly for the tunnel. However, when they arrived, there was no fire. Huh? said a very confused Charlie. I'm sure the tunnel was on fire earlier. Flynn was angry. Charlie, the search and rescue center is always really busy. We don't have time for your jokes. Only call us when there's an actual emergency. Charlie was embarrassed and slowly backed away. The next morning, Charlie was busy at work and he was about to pass the tunnel again. <laughs> fire! Fire! The tunnel is on fire! I must get help! And once again, Charlie rushed to the search and rescue centre. Fire! Fire! Fire at the tunnel again! Charlie! Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, shame on you. But there's really a fire. We are not falling for that trick again, Charlie. Now go and do some actual work. Charlie was upset. Who else can I ask to put out the fire? He thought to himself. Then an idea flew into his funnel. I know, I can ask Fireman Sam. And Charlie rushed off to Ponty Pack. Fireman Sam, I need your help! There's a tunnel on fire over there! We need to put it out! Oh no, that's not good! exclaimed Fireman Sam. We better go right away! But this isn't one of your jokes again, is it, Charlie? No, no, no! No, there's a real fire! And we must put it out! All right then, let's go. However, when they arrived, there was no fire. Huh? said a very confused Charlie. I'm sure the tunnel was on fire earlier. Fireman Sam was angry. Charlie, this is not a funny joke. 
But there was a fire here. I, I don't understand. The next day, Charlie was at the tunnel, just watching it. Why did the fire keep starting and stopping? Then suddenly, smoke came out of the tunnel. That's odd, Charlie thought. But then he heard a train coming towards him. It was Thomas, and he was heading straight for the tunnel. Oh no, exclaimed Charlie. Stop, Thomas! The tunnel's dangerous! Luckily, Thomas stopped just in time. What's the matter, Charlie? He asked. This tunnel keeps catching fire, and I don't know why. Oh, it's probably your wild imagination, Charlie. I'm sure it's fine. Ah! Monster! Monster! <laughs> ah, dragon! Dragon! Bell and Flynn heard the shouting and rushed towards the tunnel. Ready, Bell? Flynn asked. Let's soak this dragon out. Bell lined up her hoses and blasted water into the tunnel. I'll check to see if it flew away, said Bell, and slowly entered the tunnel. It's gone, she announced happily. All the engines were relieved. Flynn had an apology to make. I'm sorry for not believing you, Charlie. We should have taken a look in the tunnel before assuming it was one of your jokes. Don't worry, Flynn. As long as the dragon is now gone and the island is safe again. That's all that matters. So minions, this is the plan. Queen Elsa is visiting the Isle of Sodor for the first time. And Sir Topham Hatt has three expensive gems to give her as a present. We are going to kidnap Queen Elsa and steal those jewels. <laughs> the Isle of Sodor was buzzing with excitement. Queen Elsa was visiting for the first time and every single engine wanted to meet her. I heard she's really pretty. I heard she has magical ice powers. Thomas was on his way to the Sodor Palace with Queen Elsa in one of the carriages. Sir Topham Hatt was waiting there with three expensive gems to give her. And so many engines came to watch. There were naughty engines. There were engines that came all the way from Brendan Docks. And some of the engines even dressed up for the occasion. <laughs> Thomas was nearly there when suddenly Ow. he crashed into some minions. What's going on? Yeah, <laughs> smirked Gru. Queen Elsa, this is a kidnapping. <laughs> if you could come with me, please. <laughs> Banana? You won't get away with this, Gru. Now to begin phase two of my plan. <laughs> Diesel 10 picked up the carriages <laughs> to continue the journey.
I thought Thomas was picking up Queen Elsa, said Murdoch. Oh well, she's here now anyway, said Arthur excitedly. Music started playing as Diesel 10 rolled up to the front of the Sodor Palace. Introducing Queen Elsa! Hello! She is beautiful! I thought she'd be taller! <laughs> huh? Look, look! Huh? It's snowing! It's snowing! Woohoo! It's snowing because I'm angry! Ha! Ah! 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 Oh, nice one, Queen Elsa, said Thomas. Hop in and let's get to Sodor Palace. Huh? <laughs> Queen Elsa, these gifts are for you, from all of the engines on the Isle of Sodor. Ooh. Thomas and Queen Elsa were steaming along as fast as Thomas could go. Stop right there! Uh-oh. I'm the real Queen Elsa. Quick, run! Run! Ah! Ah! Uh-oh. Now take those imposters away. Ow! 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 Uh-oh. <laughs> it's Tom Moss again. <laughs> What's he up to? <laughs> Meanwhile, it was a special day for Dave the Minion. Happy birthday, Dave. Ah, oh, thanks. So Thomas, Toby and Percy were going to deliver all of the party supplies. Thomas was bringing the presents, Toby was bringing the balloons and Percy was bringing the bunting and the cake. But all did not go to plan, because they had to pass through this tunnel. <laughs> Thomas went first. He went in and came out with no trucks. He stopped. Hmm, something feels different. But he thought nothing of it and continued with his journey, not realising that his trucks were missing. Toby went through the tunnel next. He lost his trucks too. But he didn't notice either, so he carried on with his journey. And finally, Percy went through the tunnel. And his trucks were taken too. were shocked. Where's our stuff? Oh dear, sorry guys. Where have our trucks gone? Hmm, that tunnel we passed through was a bit strange. I think you're right, Percy. Let's go and investigate that tunnel. Ooh, investigate? Can we come? Can we come? Of course you can. It is your birthday. So the minions hopped in a truck and off they went. 
When they got there, they heard... <laughs> Thomas! Oh, I knew someone like him must have been behind this. How will we get our trucks back? Hmm. Oh, I know. What? He explained his plan. So Percy collected a truck full of fireworks. I hope this plan works. And he headed through the tunnel. Tom Moss took the truck. Yes, he took it. Hehe, <laughs> the plan is working. Oh, here he comes. Tom emerged from the tunnel with all of the trucks. He thought he was getting away. But then, he heard a noise coming from the fireworks truck. He quickly realised one of the fireworks was lit and was about to go off. So he ran away, leaving the trucks behind. The fireworks did go off. Well done guys, your plan worked. So the trains coupled up to their trucks and took the minions back to their party. Which was a huge success. And Tom ran back to his tunnel. Until next time. <laughs> Tom Moss, that's naughty. An engine could crash into that. <laughs> First of all, boom Sir Topham Hat, I'm sorry there hasn't been much coal around lately. Today, I have sent Dennis to get some more. Secondly, Thomas, you have worked so hard recently, you can have the day off. Thomas was pleased. Thanks, sir. First, I'll fill up my water tank to the top, then I'll spend the rest of the day at the beach. He was excited. Dennis is a lazy engine. He will try anything to get out of doing work. So Topham Hat had asked him to deliver the coal. Thomas was on his way to the water tower to begin his day off. When he noticed Dennis struggling to move the trucks. Hi Dennis, is everything all right? No Thomas, these trucks are too troublesome. I can't move them. It's my day off. But I'll help you, chuffed Thomas. Oh, thank you, Thomas. So Dennis watched Thomas shunt the trucks into a line. Thanks again, Thomas. And Thomas steamed away. He enjoyed a refreshing long drink of water. But meanwhile, Dennis was not enjoying himself. Dennis was lazy. He didn't want to deliver the coal. Then he heard Thomas approaching. Dennis had an idea. He was going to ask for help again. Help, Thomas. I don't know where to deliver the coal. He said weakly. Don't worry, Dennis. I'll show you. Follow me. Dennis was pleased. His trick had worked. And both engines left. 
Soon, Thomas and Dennis both stopped. OK, Dennis, now all you have to do is keep following this track. Good luck! And Thomas puffed away, but Dennis was annoyed. He wanted Thomas to take his trucks for him. Suddenly, Dennis had an idea. He blew his horn really loudly. Thomas heard the noise and was worried. So chuffed back to Dennis. Dennis was pleased. His new trick had worked. He was going to pretend to have something wrong with him. Help, Thomas. I'm overheating. You're going to have to take these trucks for me. Thomas knew it was his day off, but still wanted to help. Don't worry, Dennis. I'll find another engine to help on my way to the beach. Dennis was angry. He wanted Thomas to take his coal trucks. Then he had another idea. If I leave the trucks here, another engine will have to take them for me. And so Dennis oiled away as fast as he could, leaving the coal trucks behind. <laughs> he turned the corner, but suddenly crashed into stones on the track and derailed. Help! He cried. This time he really did need help. However, all around the island, engines were stopping. They had run out of coal. Dennis's coal trucks were still on the track. At the docks, Thomas met James. Thomas! cried James. We are all running out of coal. Dennis has the new coal, but no one knows where Dennis is. I know, replied Thomas. He's overheated. I must go back and help him. Thomas soon found Dennis. Dennis? I thought you'd broken down. And where are your trucks? Dennis felt terrible. I'm sorry, Thomas. I tricked you. I wanted you to pull the heavy trucks instead. I'm a really lazy engine. I'm so sorry. Thomas could see now that Dennis really was in trouble. So Thomas decided to help one more time by getting Rocky and Sir Topham Hatt. Dennis, boomed Sir Topham Hatt. You have caused confusion and delay. Dennis felt bad. Sorry, sir. Thomas has shown me that being a really useful engine is much better than being a really lazy engine. Sir Topham Hatt was pleased. So was Thomas. And soon, Dennis was on his way to deliver the coal to all of the engines.
Express coming through! Express coming through! shouted Gordon proudly. Through the tunnel. Where's his express coach? There it is with. Is that Tom Moss the prank engine? It is. You're up to mischief again, aren't you? Express coming through! shouted Gordon. 
There were people waiting at Maithwaite for the express. Gordon pulled in. All aboard the express, he shouted. But there was no coach for the passengers. What are you doing, Gordon? said Sir Topham Hat. Where is your coach? It's behind me. Well, it was when I started, sir. I don't know what's happened to it. Thomas pulled up. Ah, oh, Thomas, said Sir Topham Hat. Can you go and fetch Annie and Clarabelle and move these passengers? Gordon seems to be getting very forgetful. And I need a reliable engine. Yes, sir, said Thomas. And he raced away. I'm going to be the express. I'm going to be the express, he shouted. He picked up Annie and Clarabelle and raced off towards Maithwaite. Through the tunnel. Oh no, not Thomas as well. Express coming through, shouted Thomas. He pulled into Maithwaite. All aboard the express, he shouted. The passengers were not happy at all. Thomas, what is going on today? Where are Annie and Clarabelle? But they were behind me when I left, sir. I thought... Oh, sorry, sir. I'll go and find them. He left. Down at the docks, Cranky had just loaded some paint into Ben's truck. Thanks, Cranky, said Ben, and off he went. He was taking the paint to Sir Topham Hat. Through the tunnel, Oh no, not Ben as well. <laughs> Thomas then found Gordon. Have you forgotten your coaches as well, Thomas? said Gordon. There's something funny going on, said Thomas. And off he went. Thomas then met Ben. Have you seen my paint truck, Thomas? said Ben. <laughs> no, said Thomas, but there's a lot of things missing today. Percy had collected a dinosaur skeleton and was taking it to the museum. Look, Thomas, said Percy. A dinosaur skeleton. I've been allowed to tow it. That gives me an idea, said Thomas. Percy then continued, but with Thomas pushing the dinosaur as well. Through the tunnel. Oh no. Here comes Tom Moss. Ha ha! Got you, said Thomas. Tom Moss steamed off backwards. Thomas followed. But Gordon stopped him. Thomas, we've got passengers waiting who are more important than catching that prankster. Let's find our coaches. I know where they'll be, said Thomas. Follow me. They found Tom Moss's tunnel and collected their trucks and coaches and got back to work. And Tom Moss 
Well, he realised he wasn't being chased anymore. He'd got away with it again. <laughs> Uh-oh, it's Tom Moss. <laughs> oh no, he's got some naughty helpers. <laughs> They're up to no good. Meanwhile, Sir Topham Hat had an important job for James, Thomas and Percy. Engines, we have some very valuable items which need delivering to the Sodor Museum. I am putting you three in charge. So they each took a valuable item and set off for the museum. <laughs> oh look, here comes Thomas. Places, people. <laughs> okay. <gasps> Thomas! Thomas! What is it? I'm in a bit of a hurry. There's something in the cave. Oh, let me have a look. Hmm, I can't see anything. <laughs> nope, there's nothing in there. Oh, phew. Well, thanks, Thomas. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Sucker. Yeah, we've got it. And Thomas didn't even notice. Next up was James. Hey James, hi! Hi James, hi! Whoops! <laughs> Sorry about that. There you go. Have a nice day! <laughs> We've got his crown! We've got his crown, we've got his crown. <laughs> <laughs> One left. Percy. Come on, let's do it. What do you want? <laughs> it's only me! <laughs> oh, phew! Okay, you got me. <laughs> okay, I've got to get going and deliver this treasure. Bye! Bye! <laughs> Sucker! They now had all three valuable items. <laughs> Meanwhile, Chase was waiting for the trains at the museum. Here you go, Chase. Here are the ancient coins. Huh? There are no coins, Thomas. James arrived. And here's the crown. But James, you're not carrying a crown. What? Percy then arrived without his valuable item. Where have they all gone? Oh, I bet it was those minions in the tunnel. Oh, I think you're right, Percy. But they could be anywhere by now. Na na ni na na. <laughs> <laughs> there they are! So the engines chased them. Uh-oh! Uh 
so quick. Run, run! But Tom was pulling a lot of heavy items, so he couldn't move very quickly. So he uncoupled two of the trucks. Yes! They've dropped the coins and the crown! Ah, oh, but they've got the treasure chest. Oh, don't worry about that. Sir Tom Hat told me a secret about the treasure chest. They're going to be really disappointed. Ta-da! We're rich! <laughs> Look at all of this treasure! What? It's empty! No! Ugh, all of that for nothing. So the real treasures were delivered to the museum and Tom retreated back to his tunnel. Until next time. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dave and thanks for watching my video. Please check out these other videos and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon.